so, so you guys know, the video that I posted of me packing out for gymnastics camp, I deleted it. I deleted the video because I thought it was too messed up. So today I'm going to be doing a redo of it. So today was my first day of gymnastics camp and it was awesome. But I still have four more days to do it. So it's not that bad. So I'm going to be showing you guys what how I pack up for gymnastics camp, but in a better version. So since I am too lazy to be talking over me showing you guys my stuff and because my grandma is in the living room i'm going to be doing a voiceover so if you guys don't know what a voiceover is it's whenever i just don't say anything in the videos and after i edit it i can edit me recording saying all the stuff so you guys can hear me telling you guys what i'm showing you guys but i'm not actually saying it on actual camera so let's just, just go on with the video Okay guys, so this is my bag. As you can see, it is my gymnastics colors. I have a front pocket and I have a big pocket for all of my stuff to put inside so I can have everything with me everywhere I go. So next, I'm going to be adding my deodorant. This is my degree deodorant. I use this a lot, so yeah. So I'm going to be adding my sports specs, which help me so my other glasses don't fall off my face when I'm tumbling. So now I add some headphones so I can listen to music on the way to gymnastics. I also pack my new grip bag so it helps me so I can carry my grips anywhere I go for meets and stuff. So now I pack a towel because usually at summer camp we get really wet with water balloons so I always need a towel with me. Talking about getting wet, I have my swimsuit. This is a really cute two-piece design neon colored swimsuit. And finally, what is summer camp for gymnastics if you don't have your gymnastics suit and your shorts? So these are my black gymnastics suit and shorts. So now for my lunch box, it is pretty big, but it is good for me because there's an area so I can put all of my stuff inside and there's an area for me to put my water bottle inside. Now I'm going to be putting my turkey lunchable. I really love turkey because it's the only lunchable that I like. I don't like bologna or any of those pizza ones. I just like turkey ones. Now for my crunchy food, I'm going to be adding some Cheetos. They are regular Cheetos, not the Flaming Hot Cheetos. So I'm going to be adding that as well to my lunch. So now I'm going to be adding my lemon lime jello. And this is a good jello because it's sugar free and it's only 5 calories. So yeah. Now I'm going to be adding some croutons. If you know me, I love crunchy stuff, so I love croutons. They're so good, just plain. Now I'm going to be adding a spoon for my jello because what do you call jello without eating it with a spoon? Now I'm going to be adding some sweet stuff, which is my strawberry. And I love strawberries, so... Now the last thing I'm going to be adding is just an extra water bottle just in case if I run out from the water bottle inside my water bottle. So yeah. Now I'm going to be filling up my water bottle. And the good thing is only one water bottle can fill up my whole entire bottle. So it's actually a really good deal for me to just get this water bottle. <laughs> Now I'm going to be walking outside to my back refrigerator because there's probably no room in the refrigerator inside. So I'm going to be adding my lunchbox outside in the refrigerator. It's even as good. So yeah. So guys, that was the end of my video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.